Hey, what's going on you guys? Thank you for joining me once again. I'm Michael in case this is your first time on the Overland Bound channel. Today is a story of a do-it-yourself idea that became a business. We're going to meet Dave and Parker, Overland Bound members who've thrown everything behind this idea and you guys will see it is freaking awesome. Hey, we have an app if you want to connect with folks like Dave Parker and our Overland Bound members worldwide. There are 27,000 of us now here to support you because adventure is necessary. So head on over to iOS and Android, get the free app, connect with the community. We'll see you on the trail. All right, now let's get out there. We're going to meet Dave and Parker. Uh, hey, you guys, what's going on? Dave and Parker, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Um, yeah, totally excited to take a look at this. Um, we're about to reveal this pull, pull kitchen. Um, and Dave and I had a video a while back, which I'll, I'll link. Dave and, and, and Parker, Overland Bound members, we've known each other for a long time. Uh, you literally built it um, in the shade of a tree in your backyard. It was actually on the back patio under, I didn't even have a garage. So I just, <laughs> <laughs> it destroyed my back patio for like uh, about three months, three or four months. Right. So, yeah. And then, um, Parker, how'd you come into the situation here? Well, uh, I was also inspiring to build my own DIY kitchen. Yep. Uh, looking for inspiration and uh, found Dave's build, uh, blog and followed that and then got to the end of it and realized he was thinking about starting a business. Yeah. Uh, I had some skills that he needed and we met up at an Overland Bound you're, meetup. Yeah, you're under you're understating this. You have yeah. some skills. <laughs> so a little some bit background. beyond, a little bit beyond like being of a whole screwdriver. Why don't you tell us about that before we pull this thing out of here and take a look at the new version. Yeah, so uh, I'm a mechanical engineer and yeah. uh, have background in manufacturing mm -hmm. and some design work and so yeah took that uh actually modeled up dave's kitchen before seeing it or meeting him uh yeah. based on what i could see and yeah. we went from there and all right he evolved says, it to the next many? level he says modeled up he showed up to an overland town <laughs> meeting and he goes can i show you my laptop and i was like what and then he opens it up and then there's the kitchen and it opens and he spins it and i was like yeah. When can you meet for lunch? <laughs> so right on. Worked out great. So, yeah. so um, and the story here, it, it, just to summarize, really, is that we did that initial video and you talked to other folks and when you started presenting the idea, people were like, you ha I want one of these, how yeah. do I get one? Yeah, the response was overwhelming. Uh, there are so many people that were like, this would fundamentally change camping, because that's what it did for me, because I... We, we have a joke. We hate bins. Like, it's our motto. Yeah. Because, you know, you're pulling bins in and out. And, it, and, it, and in many ways, it can ruin the experience. You're spending so much time prepping just to be able to then cook dinner. Yeah. And then you sit down and have dinner. And then it's like, you know, 8 p.m. Everything's right. dark and you got to load all the bins back up. And so it really changes how uh, you interact with it. And, and I think that really touched the nerve with a lot of people saying, yeah. hey, uh, I want to do something like this, but I've got no technical skills. Can you just make one for me? Right. And so that's that's kind of the, the genesis of, of our company that we started together called Motive Design, which produces the pole kitchen. Right on. Right on. It's not, But it's not an easy thing to put together is what, what we found. So you guys yeah. started building. So you guys created a company to start to start building them because it's hard. Being able to reproduce that idea is, is very yeah. is yeah. very difficult. You can yeah. build one, but if you yeah. if you if you want to build multiple, then it's hard. And are they easy to build? No, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no they're, not. they're not. They're, they're not, not easy to design. Either. All right. So without further ado, let's let's pull out version. What version is this? What version would you call this? We call this the Mark III. Design. Mark III. So it's the Mark III design. Let's take a look. Okay. Yeah. That is gorgeous. This is not a Coleman, grow, Coleman stove replacement. Yeah. What this is, is in, and it's not even just the kitchen. What we're really trying to do is tackle a significant portion of the camping experience, right? Mm -hmm. Because when you go camping, you need, you've got to be, deal with like a pantry storage, yeah. kitchen storage, flat space, you have burners, sink, running water, water on board, 
power to do the lights, uh, and then a cutting board as well. So we try to tackle all of that in a 10 second delivery. Yep. You, you can actually bring the table to eat yeah. on, <laughs> which <laughs> yeah. is a novel idea, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And so, yeah, that's that's kind of what we're going after is something that, that takes care of, of a lot of the gear that you, you have and allows you to spend more time with your family. And that really is a true statement because you think about usually one person stuck doing all the work, everybody yeah. else is off, you know, and now you can... Join the campfire. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. And so you don't have to uh, to deal that with that specific aspect anymore. So it's more than just like, hey, this is a sink or a burner, the, the individual components. It, it, it really does change how you camp and that's what we're going after talking about first uh the flat space we've got we use coffee table lifts that come yep. up so you can easily reach everything we've got a big storage area in here this uh -huh. is our pantry storage each compartment has a light in it so that you can um, turn on the lights and then we've got uh very cool you open this up and it gives you the opportunity to use sink uh -huh. with running water uh -huh. the water is a rotor packs on the back uh -huh. so we chose rotor pack because it's easily to easy to mount we have our own custom cap and water connections things like that and then if you have uh, other rotor packs around your vehicle then you can easily swap it out very cool very and then cool. two burners to be able to cook you can get you know decent pa sized pans on there uh -huh. do what you need to do or one big griddle and then we have a front uh, this is what we call our kitchen storage now, um, and allows you plenty of space to bring whatever you bring. And, and we've seen everybody organizes these spaces a little differently Yeah. and allows you to, to put your stuff in and what fits. I would probably put, I mean, this is a, a substantial sizable an entire area. An entire area. Costco size toilet paper package will fit into that. Well, so it's basically a warehouse is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can get a lot of TV in there. We, we've got a great customer that. up in uh, Washington who he, he puts his espresso machine in there. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So, yeah, right you, on. you know, however you want to organize it and, and fit it together. We I would probably it. do, for me, I would probably do dry goods kitchen. We've added more lines than I had last time. I've got two yeah. for, there's two here for the cooking and dish, dishwashing. We've got one that shows you under right underneath here, shows you the propane mount. Yep. accessibility and then one, one down at the end so that you can see the ground because if you're uh you know if you're at a campground it's one thing but if you're on the side of a mountain being able to see the rocks and, and whatnot around your feet right is really helpful not to right you know. and we actually have a number of color options there's some base colors you can go brush aluminum blue red yep. uh white but even green you know and, and does color really help no i mean what we always say is is you don't need a pole kitchen, but but you might want one. Yeah. And so well, and the color options are really nice because most things on the market don't give you a wide range of colors. You can even vinyl wrap them and get yeah. almost any color under the sun. Right. Well, some people are going to want to do that, right? They're going to be like, I want this to match my rig. What are just some of the the things that you you had that, that had to do to be able to reproduce it? You know. Uh, so putting together detailed design. Yeah. Uh, beyond just some grid paper. No mm -hmm. offense, Dave. It was it was what was needed at the time. Right. Get, grid that, paper and Oreos. <laughs> grid paper and Oreos. Um, so we digitized it, uh, and and from that we learned what all the details of all the specifics, uh -huh. how long things needed to be, where we could fit certain aspects of things, um, and making everything a little bit more streamlined. Uh, we actually increased from the original drawer. We've increased the volume. Uh, we hid the main slides, uh -huh. uh, so you don't actually see the main slides from the outside anymore. One of the aspects of hiding the hinge, the, the main slides, is also keeping the grease of the slide off of your shirt. Obviously, overlanding, off-roading, your vehicle's going through a lot of articulation, bumps, everything. So, yeah. we stuck with uh, aluminum framing, uh -huh. um, and then we also added some additional reinforcement plates. Uh, again, from the original design, yeah. um, to really stiffen up the drawer, try to keep it simple as well. Yeah. Like keeping it simple keeps it reliable. And one yeah. of the design aspects we considered was um, this is not a permanent installation. So usually, when you look at different options, it's permanently installed. And I always wanted the idea. I like the idea of getting my truck back. Yeah. At, like even you know my whole 
rack comes off, and this comes out in three minutes. And it's basically a pin and one bolt. And, and part of that design was to allow a little bit of flex. So as the truck bed is flexing down the road, or Sprinter van, or yep. Adventure trailer, we've had him put in all of those Ford Econoline. line. It isn't so rigidly tied to the, the vehicle that it'll get destroyed by right. some flexing and things like right. that. So you bring up a good point. Um, it's not just for Tacomas um, no. or, or pickups. Yeah, we have a customer in, in Colorado that put it in a Ford Econoline, line uh -huh. and he built a sleeping platform right over the top of it so it pulls out just underneath. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, the cooking side of the van sometimes is great, but there's a lot of customers that don't want the fumes, they don't want the bacon grease, yeah. things like that. So they bring it out the back yeah. or the side of a, of a van or, I had an or adventure, a trailer. I, I had an adventure wagon with the kitchen on the inside of it, and I can tell you that's a mess. Yeah. I, I, no, I'm serious. I, I like I, I see it, and I know people do it, and it's like, in order to cook inside, I think you have to have like the minimum of like a, a semi trailer. Um, a side thing. Now, this is not necessarily important, but yeah. every customer has reported that anytime they slide this out, they get this whole crowd of people <laughs> around <laughs> asking questions, and they're like, "I can't yeah. cook because I got all these people." Right. Um, so that's been a really, really positive yeah. experience because we're a small business. We, yeah. you know, we formed. We're in California. Um, we tried to use chop grade on every component, not yep. cut corners anywhere. Yep. And and the price reflects that because we we think it's a premium product. It, and, it, it, it and is. we um, uh, will install it for free or yeah. we freight ship it. You know, it all depends on where people are. But it's uh, it, we've had global interest, which is pretty daunting for a small little company. That yeah. we, I yeah. think we're up to like fourteen countries that have wow that want to buy one and. We're like, well, maybe 2021. But well, let me ask you guys, how long, realistically, how long does it take to, to put this together? If you guys have all the, you know, you guys, you have your, your, your mechanical engineering, you have your design. How long does it take to assemble one of these things? For a two-person team, we're, to put one together, it's, it's about 24, 24 to 30 hours. Yeah, and, you're, and, and your team does that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yep. our, our, at our global headquarters. Our global headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> in our multiple yeah. Bay Area locations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we are looking, obviously, soon expanding and trying to yeah. get, you know, a uh, shop and more employees, things like that. And Yeah. And this is just our, this is what we call our longitude model. And we are working on what we call our latitude model, uh -huh. which will be for, like, SUVs. So um, okay. similar concept, just in yep. a different arrangement so that you can put something in for the weekend yep. and then be able to take it out so it doesn't have to live in the back of an SUV like a you know JKU Jeeps or the uh, Forerunners or Land Cruisers. No, I, I think the one aspect of it is that it is completely self-contained. Yeah. I think that's a, a critical yeah, that's a design point. feature of yeah. the whole integrated system yeah. where the battery, the onboard water. So when you go to take it out, there are no wiring or hoses that you have to worry about disconnecting at all. Yeah. Just comes yeah. out, you can put put in your garage. We make the we make the joke where the where the you know Parnell and I are gonna finish the drawer system for the eighty. We are gonna do that. Video coming up. Um, uh, but we always joke that our current setup, though efficient, we're a yard sale every time we stop, right? It's like everything comes out we pull our crates out i've got two boxes for all our kitchen stuff then the kitchen gets you know put on the tailgate blah 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 this is just yeah you know that's cool. like i have a rooftop tent not everybody likes it right yeah. but it for me it fundamentally changed camping where i really enjoyed it yeah. and then when i enjoyed it more i went even more and so right now for me like what goes on the ground are my two chairs and a table and that's the only thing that yep. there's just no yard sale. Yep. It, it, yep. Everything is quick and easy. And, and when changing campsites every night, that's a that's a game changer. It's a huge deal. You know, we I always say, ten minutes setup time, at the max if you're doing that kind of travel at the max because that's like to say ten seconds. With no, this. I know. I mean, this is the opposite <laughs> end of the spectrum, yeah, right? Yeah. This is totally the way to go. I mean, you're, you're yeah. set up in no time. So, all right, you guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for coming out here, hanging out with me. Show me the new the new pole kitchen. That's awesome. We'll see what else you guys come up with. You guys, um, go and get our app if you want to connect with people like Dave and Parker. Talk to other Overlanders. Um, 
Overland Bound 1, iOS and Android. Go pick it up. All right. See you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.